Aboriginal art is based on important ancient stories centered on the dream time. In Aboriginal culture, the dream time refers to the time when the world was created. The dream time stories are many thousands of years old and have been handed down through the generations virtually unchanged. The Aboriginal culture is believed to be the longest surviving culture in the world because of the dream time tradition. It is rich in spiritual teachings, cultural and behavioral guidelines, as well as the practical skills required to survive in a harsh environment. Traditional Aboriginal culture produced no written language. Instead, spoken word, dance, and music are used together with visual art to pass on vital information and preserve Aboriginal culture and dream time stories. An artist must have permission to paint ancient and important stories, particularly those stories that contain secret or sacred information. Traditional Aboriginal artists cannot paint a story that does not belong to them through family lineage. Aboriginal paintings are used to teach important traditions and stories. One painting can be used for different purposes, and the interpretations of the symbols in the artwork can vary according to the audience. For instance, when the story of a painting is told to children, it is educational, informational, and often highlights good or bad behavior and the consequences of one's choices. The story of the same painting told to an adult might contain secret information shared only among adults belonging to special groups within the community. Aboriginal people only started painting on canvas and boards around 40 years ago. The paintings we now see on canvas were originally scratched or drawn on rock walls, painted on bark, and drawn in sand or dirt accompanied by song, dance, and story. In 1971, Jeffrey Barden, a school teacher working with Aboriginal children, noticed that the men in the community were drawing symbols in the sand while telling stories. He encouraged them to paint the visual parts of the stories on board and canvas, and so triggered the beginning of the Aboriginal art movement which is appreciated all over the world. As the older artists teach the young people, appreciation for the ancient culture has flourished, drawing youth back to the traditional communities in ways that might not have been possible without the art movement. As people outside the Aboriginal culture marvel at the beauty and spirituality of Aboriginal art, their interest and respect for Aboriginal people has transcended the old stereotypes, building stronger bridges of understanding between cultures. Each of you will be working with a partner to make a painting inspired by Australian Aboriginal art. You and your partner will draw your inspiration from several important characteristics of this ancient tradition. Every painting will include vivid color and patterns of dots and lines. You and your partner will also choose other characteristics to include in your paintings, such as dividing lines, borders, people, animals,
symbols abstract designs organic designs and a bird's eye or map-like point of view. And here are some paintings made by middle school students. Please be ready to share questions, comments, and ideas regarding this film in our next class. Thanks for watching.